Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House and today we have more Miraculous Ladybug toys. So we have the action figures. So I've been waiting for these to come out for a long long time. So today we have Ladybug and Marinette. And I can tell just from looking at the box that they are going to be so amazing. Take a look at Ladybug here. Oh my gosh. She comes with two accessories. She comes with a yo-yo and also a heart. Um, the heart that kind of flies up when everything is restored to order after she uh, after she wins the fight with a villain. And over here we have Marinette and we have her school backpack and we also have her purse that she keeps Tiki in. Okay, let's take a look at Marinette and she is adorable. So she has two accessories. So she has her uh, little backpack. So this is a really cute bag. It has a little heart here on the clasp. And a little M, that's for uh, her initials on it. So that's really cute. And we also have her purse. So this is her purse that she wears to keep Tiki in. Isn't that cute? There's so much detail. It's a little clasp up on the top and her little M and little flowers on there. <laughs> and here is a close-up of her face. So she has really big blue eyes. She has her earrings there. They're, um, they're actually black. Has her pigtails, <laughs> so her head can go sideways, not up and down. And her outfit is really cute. So she has a nice clean uh, t-shirt, and look at that, they even added a little wrinkle in it. <laughs> that is some really cool details. So she has a black uh, shirt on on the outside, and she is pretty articulated. So um. Her knees and her elbows and shoulders all move, so she is a really cool action figure. I just love her pink pants. Look at that. These are more like capri pants. And she has little ballet flats on, ballet slippers. Okay, next we have Ladybug. Oh my gosh, take a look at her. So Ladybug is... Uh, <laughs> So Ladybug comes with her yo-yo that is already extended. It is kind of clear and it's purple, but um, you can see that it's her yo-yo with the spots on it. And she also has these hearts. This is one that um, during the sequence where everything gets put back in place. And let's take a look at her face. So her face is pretty much the same as the Marinette one, but for her hair, they added the ribbon detail. So I didn't, I didn't actually notice, but um, I guess this ribbon comes out when she transforms. But um, the regular Marinette does not have that extra ribbon. And also her uh, earrings here are red. See that? So there's a lot of details I actually never caught when watching the show. <laughs> so she is articulated, and I guess uh, I don't know. Actually, her waist doesn't. It looks like it'll move, but um, I don't think it does. I don't want to break it. And I did notice there is one extra level of, of uh, articulation. She has her ankles here that also move. The Marinette doll doesn't have ankles that bend, so Ladybug here has this extra articulation in the ankles, which is pretty cool. All right, so we have Marinette and we have Ladybug. Who do you like better? Let me know down below in the comment section, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye! Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House, and today we have some action figures from Miraculous Ladybug. So we have Cat Noir and Adrian. So if you've seen the Miraculous Ladybug show, you'll know that Adrian is actually Cat Noir. Or rather, Cat Noir is the superhero version of Adrian. So I recently reviewed the action figures for Marinette and Ladybug, so if you have not seen that video, the link is up above in the i button and down below in the description. So let's open these up and take a closer look. So let's start by taking a look at Cat Noir first, and take a look at him. So here is um, a close-up of his face first. So you can see he has his green eyes, he has little ears up here, and these are soft ears. Oh my gosh, so you can kind of bend them a little bit. And um, he has his little bell, and he is um, pretty much fully articulated. Um, his shoulders and his elbows move. He has uh, bendable knees and also ankles, so that's really cool. So he also has his miraculous, his little ring there, and um, his tail. <laughs> so his tail is actually um, a belt, but it does move and he can use it as um, a weapon sometimes, or rather he can use it to move. 
uh, move him around and so this is actually really cool it's actually not uh, really flexible it bends but um, it doesn't rotate um, along the, the waist here but overall he is super cool and I love his boots so these are kind of like cat paws and not really shoe like they're more like um, actually look more like bunny feet because <laughs> they're round on the top I guess they're supposedly more like um, cat's feet she has he has these little um, shields on his ankles which is really cool he does come with two accessories. These two accessories are basically the same thing. So this is his weapon. Um, the short one here is his weapon um, when it's in the phone mode. So he can be calling somebody. Uh, maybe it's a ladybug. <laughs> and this is the extended uh, mode where he can use it as a weapon. So this one is super cool. So ideally, I guess he would always hold one or the other. I kind of wish there was um, a little place for it to um, put on his back because I think that would be really cool. I don't know if you can slide it through his tail. Nope. <laughs> it would be really cool if you can attach it to the back, huh? So maybe with a little bit of, um, I don't know, Velcro <laughs> or magnet, sticker magnet, you can kind of stick it to the back. But that would be super cool. So that is um, Cat Noir. And look, he can stand. <laughs> so next is Adrian. So he is a super cool doll. So there's Adrian. And his super cool hair. And um, he's wearing his, his shirt with the white shirt over it. And his blue jeans and his uh, orange shoes. You can see the details here on his orange shoes. He has a little butterfly logo on there. I didn't know it was a butterfly logo. I thought it was something else. But he has those butterfly logos. The um, it looks like a hawk moth logo, really. And his accessories are um, a camera. He's a model, so usually I think people take pictures of him. I don't. I, I don't remember seeing him with a camera. But so <laughs> he does come with a camera, and he also comes with his backpack. So they hold these types of um, backpacks. I wish they opened because that would be really cool if it was a working messenger bag you can put something in there and he is articulated he has a uh, movable shoulders and elbows knees but not the ankle so his ankle doesn't move and so he has a uh, movement at the hips and at the knees so here they are side by side so you can see that they're a little bit different um, Adrian's hair is swept to the side and Cat Noir's hair is a little bit more in pieces but overall they look really cool so let me know down below in the comment section who you like better do you like Cat Noir or do you like Adrian? so if you guys have not seen my Ladybug and Marinette action figure review and unboxing video make sure to check that out alright I'll see you guys next time bye Hi everyone, welcome to Evie Toy House and take a look, we have some Miraculous Ladybug new action figures. So last year we got four action figures, we have uh, Cat Noir, Ladybug, Adrian, and Marinette. This year we got some bad guys, we got some Akumutized people, we have Stormy Weather, and we have Anti-Bug. And we also have Chloe who is actually kind of a bad person. Or rather, she's the reason why a lot of people get akumatized. So I'm really excited about these action figures, so let's go ahead and open them up. Alright, let's take a look at Chloe. So here is Chloe, and I think they did really well with her face. So she comes with two bags, and here in the back, you can see a picture of her, and also a picture of the doll. And I think the doll looks a little bit different. And down here, you can see that there is Ladybug, Antibug, and Stormy Weather that you can get. Alright, get this open. Alright, so here is Chloe and take a look at her. I really like the way they did her face. I think this looks a lot like the animated version of Chloe. So here, so here in the back. So you can see her kind of shiny lip gloss, <laughs> bright blue eyes, and her blonde hair with the sunglasses on top. And I really like her outfit too. So she has her 
yellow jacket over her striped shirt and she's wearing these white pants with kind of a tan colored flats. So she's very well articulated as you can see here. Her arms and elbows all move. Her legs at the knee also move. And let's see, her hair doesn't move at all. And she comes with these two accessories. So she has a purse, a round purse, and also a little, I guess a little briefcase or a book bag. So, actually no, this is the cell phone, okay. So there's a little phone symbol down here, so. <laughs> she is always talking on her phone, so it makes sense that it comes with a little cell phone. <laughs> There we go, so she's talking on her cell phone. Super cute figure. And her purse. Such a great figure, look at this. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. And she stands! <laughs> Alright, let's start, let's move on to Anti-Bug. So here is Anti-Bug. And in the back, he see and a bug who is uh, Chloe, uh, the akumatized version of Chloe. Okay, so anti bug here comes with one accessory. So she has this sword, which is actually really, really cool looking. It's pretty big too. And here she is with her little black and red mask. <laughs> she looks so cool, you guys. Oh my gosh, look at this. So the rest of her head looks just like Chloe. But she is wearing her mask, so you can't tell who she is. And in comparison, we have... Ladybug here. I did notice that the body shape is actually different than Ladybug. So Ladybug seems to have a more narrow waist and um, in Antibug here it looks like she has a little bit more normal waist. So I don't know if that's just a new mold they're using so it looks um, doesn't look so strange with such a narrow waist. <laughs> But otherwise, the bodies look pretty much the same, and I think Antibug might be a little bit taller. Alright, so here's a close-up of them standing next to each other, and it does look like Antibug is slightly taller than Ladybug. Or maybe just me. <laughs> but they do look pretty cool as opposites. And also here's a close-up of Chloe and Antibug. So as you can see here, they look identical except for the mask over her face. Alright, let's move on to our last one which is Stormy Weather. And Stormy Weather is a really awesome character. I think she's one of my first few customs that I did using the Equestria Girls Mini. So I really love this character. I'm so excited that we now have an action figure of her. Take a look at her, oh my gosh. <laughs> So here in the back, we have a picture of stormy weather and also of the other ones. So here is stormy weather and here is her accessories. So this is an umbrella. And so it's really cool that it has this little end here, a handle, and these little um, swirls in them. That's super cool. And here is Stormy Weather. Oh my gosh, look at her hair. <laughs> her hair is so cool. Her dress is really cool too. Take a look at that. So this is completely plastic. It's not rubber so it doesn't move or flex. But it does give her enough room for her legs to move. So she is wearing um, her signature dress. She is articulated here in the shoulders and also in the elbow and also her legs. They go up and down. I just love these boots. Oh my gosh, take a look at that. Such a cool figure. 
So from the back, she looks like this. Here's a close-up of her face and mask, and I just really, really love her mask. Alright everyone, so here are the three new figures we're adding to our Miraculous Ladybug action figure collection. Let me know down below in the comment section which one is your favorite. Do you like Antibug? Do you like Stormy Weather? Or do you like regular Chloe? And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hi everyone! Welcome to Evie's Toy House and take a look at who we have today. We have Lady Wi-Fi from the Miraculous Ladybug. So this year, Miraculous Ladybug released a whole number of action figures and we have the entire set except for Lady Wi-Fi. So she is the last one to get and I finally have her. So, so excited. So taking a look at her, the first thing I noticed I don't know if you can see this in the coloring, but she is a dark purple. Her outfit is dark purple. So as you can see here, my Equestria Girls Mini Custom and also my Disney Fairies Custom, she is wearing a black outfit. And I believe in the series, she's actually wearing a black outfit. So I'm not sure why they made the decision to make her outfit purple instead of black, but she does look pretty good in purple. <laughs> Alright, so let's get her out of her box and take a closer look. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me show you the back of the box. So, the back of the box, up here, you can see here's image of her, and she is wearing a black outfit, so we're not mistaken. It's just that the action figure is purple. And of course, we have um, down here, Stormy Weather, Antibug, Chloe, and Ladybug, whom we have already. So if you have not checked out those videos, make sure to check those out. They are really, really cute. Alright you guys, so here she is. So of course this is Alia turned into an akumatized villain and so she turns into Lady Wi-Fi. So she is completely in purple with white gloves or white stripes on her arms and also white boots. So she is very well articulated as you can see here in her arms and legs. She can do running action and her arms go up and down. It changes the mask does not come off so it is painted right onto her face and the same as this um, Wi-Fi symbol and also her little on <laughs> button so she kind of looks like a iPhone and here is a close-up of her face so she does have orange eyes and um, her mask is painted on and of course she has that signature mole right on top of her eyebrows there that is really, really cool. And her hair is actually more orange than brown. Um, feels a little stiff, but I think most of these figures can stand on their own. It's just you have to balance them because they're smaller. Okay, she comes with two accessories. So one is a cell phone. Let's put the button down here. No handle for her to hold on. And here's the pause button. So when she uses her power, she can pause uh, people. She can hold on to it and kind of pause. <laughs> Very cool uh, power, I think. <laughs> Although if you have not seen that episode, you probably have no idea what she's doing. <laughs> Alright, so let's compare her a little bit with the Lady Wi-Fi that I made. So she is actually about the same height as the Disney Fairy. So here she is. Let me take her off her stand. Alright, so here is my Lady Wi-Fi in black. And here is the action figure Lady Wi-Fi. 
<laughs> so which one do you like better? Do you like my Disney fairy one? Or do you like the, uh, I guess the, the real one? <laughs> and also here is my Equestria Girls Mini. As you can see here, her hair is a lot more red than the color that I used. Alright everyone, so here are the three villains that we have so far. We have Stormy Weather, Lady Whitefly, and Anti-Bug. I actually can't decide which one I like best. How about you? Which one do you like best? Do you like Stormy Weather? Do you like Lady Wi-Fi? Or do you like Anti-Bug? And also, are you looking forward to some other villains? Maybe some of the male villains? Let me know down below in the comment section. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!